Hello, everybody. I'm Lynn Burkett of MajorLeagueFishing.com, and the fellow next to me needs no introduction to the greatest in the history of our sport, Mr. Kevin Van Dam, two-time Major League Fishing champion. 15 times you finished second in Bassmaster Elite Series events. What was it? 17 times you finished third, and 107 times you've been in the top 10 of tournament finishes. Heck, even in Major League Fishing, I, I think there's only been two or three times you haven't made the championship day. How have you kept that consistency going for so long? That's a good question. I just, you know, I mean, I go out and try to win every event. You know, I won a tournament and once I'd won, it, it really changed my mentality. You know, once you win, nothing else satisfies. So, you know, I take a lot more chances. Um, you know, you got to put yourself in position to win. You know, you got to look at every event that you fish and look at the format and come up with a game plan that's gonna give you the best opportunities. Or, you know, just like on the, the championship day in Major League Fishing, you know, there's there's one or there's six. And, it, and if you're not first, it really doesn't matter. So you've got to sometime take some risky moves to try something a little bit different. Take a chance on trying to, to get someplace that nobody else would think about going. It's a mentality for sure. There's no question about it. I just, I love the competition. I, I love the thrill of figuring out what it takes on any given day. and in whatever conditions that I've got, it, it's something that I'm passionate about, and I think all the top guys you see the same thing in. Power fishing, you, again, people pay lip service to power fishing. You've taken that and run to another level with it. What is power fishing? Why do you excel at it? Well, power fishing is just, you know, fishing techniques that are very efficient for covering a lot of water, and I try to use techniques that are really good at triggering neutral or inactive fish too. So a jerk bait, for instance, is a, is a good power uh, fishing lure because you can cover a lot of water with it and yet it's still very good at triggering fish to bite. But, but so is you know, flipping a heavy jig, you know, where it falls like a bowling ball. You can be very fast and effective with that if you're target fishing, you know, throwing pitch into stumps or holes in the grass or something like that. That's what I try to do is think about what is, for the conditions that I have, what's gonna be the most efficient technique um, to cover that water and then also to to trigger the bass based on the, the weather and water conditions that I have. But I've watched you take it to another level and you you said years ago you always try to control every variable that's controllable. I bet that results in one or two or three fish a day that you might not have otherwise caught. Yeah you you have to be very efficient. Um, you know time management is everything so you know everything from your equipment storage and organization to, um, you know, you're changing your line, making sure your hooks are all changed or sharp or brand new, you know, I mean, those are all variables that I can control. Um, I can't worry about the weather or uh, other anglers out on the water and things like that. It, 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 it's nothing to, to really worry about. Yeah, you have to be aware of everything that's going on around you, but I know if I have all of my equipment stuff in order and and I, I'm gonna be prepared for whatever uh, I might find out there on the water Mother Nature might throw at me. So it, it just gives me a lot of confidence to compete at a high level. You seem to have a really good understanding for what bass are doing through the seasons, whatever part of the country you're in, and you're able to figure a way to catch them. You know, Rick Klon is the one that really um, kind of opened my eyes to patterns as a whole and then as seasonal patterns and all I try to do is figure out what general seasonal pattern uh, should be happening in the bass's world wherever I'm going and then go out in the water and let them tell me exactly what stage they're in. So, I mean you go out there and, and you look at all the variables you can. I mean bass fishing for sure is a science that's far from exact and, and that's what it takes is you got to notice those little things and it changes throughout the day. I mean uh, you know, having the, the sun go behind the clouds changes the mood and, and the location of the fish a lot of times. Having, um, you know, a front pass or, you know, a wind direction, either picking up or letting off, you know, little things like that you have to make adjustments for. So you can't just go out with a preset game plan and be able to just do it all day long. Rarely does that happen. You have to keep an open mind. You have to be extremely observant. You are one of the most highly motivated people I guess I've ever met. A lot of people were saying Kevin's in his mid-40s now. The game is starting to pass him by. All the young bucks are coming up. I told somebody, don't poke the bear. I think somebody poked you because last year you won three events and you kind of put to rest the idea that Kevin Van Dam was done. Well, you know, 
I, in my mind, I didn't realize I was that far gone. You know, I mean, the, the media and the press made a, a lot more of it um, when I finally did win than I ever thought about it. And if you look at it, you know, I had a couple of really close, you know, calls where I finished second and, and could have won events over the time, but you know, it's the way it goes. If you keep knocking on the door, if you put your, you know, yourself in position so that you're there within striking distance on the final day of any, any bass tournament, eventually things are gonna go your way and it's gonna happen. That's what, what I try to do every tournament is be in contention going into that final round. He's the best in our sport, according to most people, the GOAT, the greatest of all time. Kevin Van Dam has set the benchmark in Major League Fishing and beyond. If you'd like to learn more about our sport and our anglers like Kevin Van Dam, go to our website, MajorLeagueFishing.com.